Hi everybody, my name is Marcy Coons. You may know me from the Crooked Life blog or also the Crooked Life Foundation, uh, my charity. So today I've put together a blog to answer a burning question. I hear it all the time. How to dress your SAS. So for those who want to shout it from the rooftops that you are wearing an SAS, here is the first look that you can do. Um, I like to wear um, a fitted pant or fitted jean on the bottom and a fitted top as well. If you want to um, just tone it down a little bit, maybe not make it as noticeable, even though you're wearing it on the outside. I would choose a darker jean. And then if you want to make sure everybody notices, so those brave enough to ask you questions will, then go with a lighter jean um, and lighter top. It's easy to put on quickly over clothing when you sit down. Again, you're going to release the tension band and you're going to put it over to the side because when you sit, it's for support. And when you start moving, you can easily grab that tension band and bring it back over so you're not constricted um, in any way. So this is outfit number one. I'm going to show you another look, another popular, uh, popular look for wearing it on the outside is an athletic outfit. Say you're going jogging or you're going to the gym. So let's take a look at what that would look like. So here is that athletic look that I was talking about. Um, again, if you wear um, black leggings um, or workout pants it's really gonna blend in and it's not gonna stand out very much at all um, so I really like this uh, wearing something fitted again and then also on top you can of course wear a t-shirt with it as well um, I find that wearing a t-shirt with it um, the t-shirt bunches up a lot um, some of you, especially if you're at the gym and things like that, you probably don't care. Um, I like it looking nice um, and put together. So um, I just choose a more fitted top. Next, I am going to show you a few looks um, of wearing the Scully Smart Activity Suit with the vest underneath clothing and the leg band on the outside. So for those who work in a business casual environment, uh, this is probably going to be a better option for you. Um, I This is another look that I like. I've worn it like this. I used to work in an office environment. Um, I've worn this out uh, to my nieces and nephews, basketball games, and several times I was asked if I was packing because they thought that this leg band looked like a gun holster. So I guess if anything, no one's going to mess with me, right? <laughs> so um, this works because, you know, skinny jeans are really in right now. Um, and so if you wear a lot of skinny jeans, the leg band is going to go on the outside around that just don't think anybody's going to get this leg band on the inside of a pair of skinny jeans. And if you do, it probably isn't going to be that comfortable. Um, but I really like this look. I think it looks put together. And I put my tank top over the suit, um, which even disguises it more. Um, so I, you can't even see the suit on top. Um, maybe a little tiny bit if I pull this, like you can see it right here a little bit. But other than that, um, you cannot. The one thing that you need to keep in mind, um, wearing it this way, I'm not going to have easy access to the tension band. So if you're just continuous activity uh, throughout the day, doesn't matter. But if you're up and down and up and down, then 
you know, you're going to want access to the tension band um, to release that when you're not active and you're sitting down. Um, you could always, you know, sneak into the bathroom or something and, and change it if you know you're going to be sitting down for a while. Um, or the other thing you could do is just wear the tank top um, underneath, put that on first, then put the suit over it, then put your uh, top that you're going to wear completely on the outside. So another option, you would have easier access to it at that point, and then it wouldn't matter if you just lifted up your shirt because you would have a tank under it, if that makes sense. So just another thing to keep in mind, and we're going to take a look at another um, outfit like this, but it camouflages it even more for those who want to really tone it down. Here is another business casual look that you could do for work. Um, it really tones it down. Really, you can barely tell um, that the suit is even there, um, especially because I'm wearing black um, pants. So it really just blends in. This is one of my favorite sweaters. It's so nice and cuddly and soft. And just the way it fits, um, you can't even, at least I don't think you can even tell. So the only part of the suit that you can even see is here, the leg band. You may not even be able to see that barely in the video because it blends in with my pants. So another option, one tip with this outfit. This is my favorite, favorite sweater. <laughs> when you are taking off your outfit you met, and your suit, and the Velcro is exposed. Do not get your sweater near the Velcro or it will no longer be your favorite sweater. <laughs> that Velcro is strong stuff and the sweater will stick to it. Um, as you can see, my sweater is still intact, so I've done a pretty good job, but I will say that I've come close a couple of times. I, I've pulled it off really, really carefully. So, just a tip when you're wearing sweaters with the suit. Next, I'm going to show you a few outfits of wearing the suit entirely under clothing. It can be done. Outfit number one for wearing the suit completely underneath. Um, this is my work clothes, my scrubs. So when I wear it to work, no one even notices. I have to actually mention it and then they say, I didn't even notice you had it on. Um, you can see it come out just a little bit here, but it's really not noticeable at all. Um, see I do wear the leg band like right on my leg I don't wear any clothing under it doesn't bother me at all uh, you might be different I do wear a tank underneath it on the top um, and then just put the shirt over it so that way if I wear the tank underneath it I could easily get to the tension band if I'm sitting down and put it over here. Active. Re-engage. <laughs> so, the other thing that I will mention about wearing the suit completely under clothing is ladies. Men, this isn't going to <laughs> bother you at all, probably, but women, <laughs> we just can't get away from it like me, side profile, shh, almost flat. You know what I mean? So that's just, there's a suit under there and it is what it is. So if you see any pictures of me posted and that's what it looks like, it's because I'm wearing my suit underneath my shirt. All right, so here's the workout uh, outfit or sweatsuit, whatever you wanna call it and as you can see, you can tell a little bit here and there, somebody who doesn't know you're wearing it, it's not going to uh, draw their eye, I don't think. Um, you can see the leg band a little bit here, um, and then just right here where the vest comes around, but I just 
don't think it's noticeable at hardly at all. One thing to keep in mind is when you're wearing the suit underneath clothing, you're going to want to make sure that your pants are maybe stretchy or you might consider getting a size up or they're bad. You want to leave extra room, make sure there's extra room in your leg area um, so that you can get that leg band under there. There's an outfit. A uh, dress outfit that you can wear to work or for a date, a night out. And again, the only place I think you can tell is the leg band. And you can see that it fits kind of tightly here. And again, you might want to bring your suit with you when you go shopping um, for your pants just to see if you want to consider going up one size to allow a little extra room. These. All of the outfits that I've had were outfits that I had um, prior to owning the suit, I believe. So, I mean, I didn't buy any of those clothes, especially for the suits. Just something to consider because it is really snug here. So I would probably have considered getting a size up if I would have purchased this outfit afterward. Um, so, just uh, another option so that you can see you can dress it up and you can really disguise it so you can build a great wardrobe around your SAS it's just not a limitation so uh, the other oh I did not show you what it would be like with a dress who knows somebody might want to wear it with a dress so let me show you what that might look like just to end it all out so here is a nice look um, if you want to wear a dress with the suit um, and I think you can barely tell um, sometimes the top of the shirt you might be able to see a little bit right here um, in the collar area and then this sticks out just a tad bit barely at all you're definitely not going to be able just to wear any dress um, with the suit and have it concealed. So you're definitely going to have to shop for styles um, and be very deliberate about that if you're looking to conceal it. So there are definitely styles out there that you will be able to do it. So I'm going to leave you with this, my scoliosis awareness look. <laughs> We've been planning a big scoliosis awareness event for scoliosis awareness month in June uh, through our charity, the Crooked Life Foundation. So if you're interested in that, go to our Facebook page and check that out. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video today. And if you have any comments or tips for anyone on how to best dress your SAS, then please leave them in comments. And until next time.